Welcome to this session on how to set the default annotation cell for a data group catalog type. Now in the last session we set up a custom annotation cell for our spaces and in this session we will make that the default cell to be used for spaces. Now I've reopened Open Buildings Designer. We want to make sure it picks up that new cell that was created and I'm simply going to browse again and open my empty DGN. Now this is a setting that gets saved to the work set, so notice I'm in my project template work set here. But it might be that you want to change this default setting through the life of, the, of a particular project. So for instance, when you're early in the design process, concept design, schematic design, it may be that you want a fairly simple space label, and so you would set this default setting accordingly. And then as you moved into construction drawings, you may want a different space label and you could simply change the default and that would update all your space labels in your drawings. So again, I'm on the drawing production tab and I'm going to go over the place annotation group. So I'm going to use that little arrow that's on the lower right of the place annotation group and that will open the annotation tool settings. From here I can select any of the different catalog types. I'm going to select the space type and note there's a number of, of settings here. The most important here is, is the actual cell that I want to use. Pretty much everything else just is set to use the cell. So the level, the color, the line weight, that was used in the cell is what will get used when it's placed on the drawing. So I'm just going to select that that field where it's showing the current cell, opens up my dialog and you should see your XYZ space label listed there. And I'm going to select that one and then apply that and that now becomes the default cell or tag for my spaces. So long as I have a rule set up that is set to use the default cell. And we'll talk more about rules when we set up the drawing template. So I'm going to go ahead and select OK. And that's all set up now. In the next session, we'll take a look at creating your own project border file. Again, one more thing we need to get set up as a customization before we actually set up the drawing template. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.